Hey, Trey, um, just down the stretch, what were you guys seeing from them that just made them kind of go off a little bit offensively? Kind of the game was closed within three, with about six or so minutes left to play, and then it just seemed like they were firing on all cylinders. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is just players making plays. Uh, I mean, they got superstars over there for a reason, and that's, I mean, that's why they are. I mean, Kawhi goes against the dunk, I and mean, that's not a play, that's just him going and scoring. I mean, uh, we're, I mean, trying to hit the hit the ball. Um, if Big O got on James or certain matchups, and they were just cutting and finishing around the rim, and they just made a couple more plays than we did. And uh, I mean, credit to them, they see that type of, I mean, I mean, type of defense a lot with the hitting and guys doubling, so they know how to play, and they got smart players everywhere, so uh, they capitalize off it. Obviously, with DeAndre still coming back from you know minutes restriction that sort of thing, but uh, was very impactful tonight. Uh, what did you see out of out of his minutes? Uh, I mean, Dre was really good. He was, I mean, aggressive. Uh, I know he didn't score or uh, was involved in the game as much as he would like to last game, and um, it was good to see him. I mean, get some shots to go down and be aggressive. And uh, I know as we continue to play, his minutes will go up, and that'll help us. Uh, with the guys out there, because he's one of, if not our best defender on our team. So uh, not having him these past 18 or something games, it was it was tough. But now having him back, he can help us. And as you continue to play more, he'll. Uh, I mean, his minutes will probably increase and uh, be on the floor a lot more for us. Trey, this was, despite the loss tonight, a pretty successful homestand. I would say. <laughs> How do you carry? those good things from this homestand over into this next series of road games in some pretty tough environments? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's more about all of us just understanding that we got to take it one game at a, at a time. I know that sounds cliche and a lot of people say it, but I mean, we're in a position where we have to. Uh, I mean, winning one game is going to bump us above 500, so we got to continue to take it one game at a time. and. Um, Continue to stack these wins, whether we're at home or on the road. And, uh, so now we got two on the road. We got to go go take care of and start in Boston, the best team in the league this year. And, uh, tough place to play. They don't lose lose there very much. So we got to do something that a lot of, a lot of teams don't don't do. This may not have been the night offensively that Jalen would have wanted, but he didn't seem to let it affect him defensively. What did you see from him on that end of the floor? Uh, yeah, I mean he was playing hard. Um, I mean, Jalen's not going to be perfect every night, and I know he's a competitor and he wants to, and um, especially this being his first year, he gets to play a lot. So he wants to be perfect every night, and um, I mean, I'm I'm sitting there. I, it's hard because he's he's such a big big piece for our team, and I know he wants to be perfect, but uh, in the moment, it's it's hard to tell him like just to keep playing and keep going, and um, but it's it's just part of it. He's not going to be perfect every night, and coming from me. I know, I know that it's not going to be perfect every night, but it can change in, in a heartbeat. It can change in a play. It can change in the next game. So he's got to continue to stay with it. He's been having a hell of a year, and one game ain't going to change nothing. So. Trey, can you talk about the energy that Bruno brought to the floor tonight? He had a big time dunk at a yeah. big time. Yeah, Bruno, Bruno played good. He's going to be playing, playing for us a little bit more, for sure, probably with CC out. And so we got to... We're going to have to need some minutes from Bruno and his energy. He always brings it. Um, so every time he's on the court, we're going to have to need it even more from the CCB and him. So. All right. Thanks, Trey.